the more time that you spend in you know loving the things that you do in uh -huh. cooking the lechon, then the flavor just comes out of it. Hi, welcome back to Paradise Philippines. It's a rainy Sunday morning here in the Queen City of the South. And of course, you know, Cebu is known for three things. One is our wonderful beaches from the north to the south. Well, we're going south right now, but anyway. Um, second is our accommodating people. And you, you might have witnessed that already. And of course, number three, our very famous Cebu's Lechon. And today we're going to Talisay to try it out. Well, not really try it out. I've been eating it all my life, but to get a taste of it this Sunday. So we're gonna have fun in between. So join us. So we finally arrived here in Talisay Poblacion. We're currently in Liberation Park, which is just a few, I mean, half an hour away from the city. And today we're gonna explore every bit of uh, Talisay Poblacion. And we will be guided by officers from Talisay Chamber of Commerce. So, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hi, nice to meet you. So you are Kenneth, right? Yeah, I'm Ken. Nice to meet you and good morning, by the way. Good morning. Okay, so what can we expect when when we come here, it's it's our, it's still 9 a.m. It's bustling. It's amazing. Yeah, actually, here in, in Talisa, you can mm -hmm. actually see the different kinds of lechon. Uh, since it's considered like now, it's the new capital of lechon here yes. in Talisa. So Talisa is the new capital for lechon. I think it is. <laughs> it is. Based on what I know, um, Talisa was known for their beaches. They couldn't beach place here in Talisa before, right? Yeah, actually before when the south wasn't discovered yet, Talisa mm -hmm. was actually the beach center ah. of Cebu. Yes. So everyone would go here. Yeah. So there would be like Maroka, Canton Beach, mm -hmm. and all this other stuff here. But since uh, there's, I guess, new things mm -hmm. in the south, yeah. everyone would, is going go to further, that, right. go further. Than, yeah, awesome, yeah. awesome. So what can we do today? Uh, today, so today we'll be going around looking okay. at uh, actually different vendors, different okay. um, lechon vendors. And they also have the fried intestines and the uh, and Thank nice, you. perfect Thank for a Sunday, maybe morning or Sunday lunch. It's around lunchtime, so you can see a lot of people are here at uh, the Poblacion here in Talisay. So um, there are a lot of food stalls here. So if you're wanting to go for a food trip, this is the best place to go to. Uh, there's a range of lechon, seafood, dinuguan, innards, uh, anything that you might like. So there, nasa mga kinilaw. For those people who like to um, enjoy exotic food and all that, um, you can check out different food stalls here with different uh, food products. Pumuka sa nagdaan. Pili na ka years din na balik yung forty years. Yung mo ni mum putahe dito na. Tangi gini mum. Tani tangi gya pon. Parin dani siya. Sunlutan. Ano sunlutan? Si kupumba mo. Hmm. Oh okay. So I'm curious, so this whole area is called Liberation Park, including yeah. this place, right? Yeah. Why is it called Liberation Park? Uh, it's called Liberation Park because um, uh, they said that the Americans actually landed here. Mm -hmm. So there's actually an actual reenactment every year. They, that was during World War II, right? Yeah, so there's an actual reenactment every year here. We celebrate here in Tolisa. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have the chance, you're mm -hmm. welcome to come by and visit. We can we can do that. So, um, what do these statues represent? These are the um, the Americans who landed here. Yeah. Oh, awesome, awesome. All right. So, when was this like um, established? This place, this whole area. Actually, before it was just a shoreline here. Um, mm -hmm. It was, I guess, in the old Talisa uh -huh. when it wasn't there. So mm -hmm. this is actually just renovated ah. from because of the storm and through the. Oh, so, so some statues fell down. Yeah, some of the statues actually mm -hmm. fell down during the earthquake. Yeah. So now it's being renovated and even this plaza right here okay. and where we're sitting it, uh -huh. it's, um, it, it just got renovated right now. Uh, you mentioned earlier when we were talking, um, this is the only public beach left here in Talisay, right? Yeah, this in area. Talisay area, this uh -huh. is one of the public beaches that's okay. actually pretty famous here mm -hmm. in Talisay. 
So other than that, uh, most of it, that's why it's called uh, Lechon Park. Because ah, people come okay. here and stay here for Eat free. Lechon. Eat Lechon uh -huh. and have fun. And have an awesome Sunday. So there is a building, there's a brown building there. What, what's the plan for that? Um, for now, the brown buildings are actually supposed to be for the Lechon stalls. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be in the near future, I guess, they're going to put stores and make it more commercial, mm -hmm. make it much better here. We're here with Sir James from Ruthie's Lechon. What do we have in the background? We have the lechons that's mm -hmm. gonna be sold in the store. Okay. So they're very large lechons, uh, mostly sold at 15,000 per piece. But mm -hmm. what we want is the order types, yes. which starts from 6,500. Uh huh. This size is good for 30 people. And how many kilos is that, like for um, the range? Cooked weight is uh -huh. more or less. Than 10 kilos. Okay. And it's good for at least 30 people wow. and it's already free. The dugo dugo and mm -hmm. magina both, it's already cooked by us. Awesome. By the way, um, if, if we're looking to buy like uh, smaller pieces, like not the whole lechon, how much is a kilo of lechon? So here in Talisay, it's 750 per kilo. Okay. It is a big difference compared to the city uh -huh. just because of how far you need to drive away yes. and you know, it's more remote here. Um, but it's 750 per kilo, and the whole lechon smallest size starts at 6,500. Like how a chef cooks food, uh -huh. they put their heart into it and they put a lot of ingredients. Mm -hmm. Now most of the times it's the same principle as cooking lechon. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, the more ingredients you put in, the more flavor it has, mm -hmm. the more time that you spend in you know, loving the things that you do in uh -huh. cooking the lechon then the flavor just comes out of it. I think that's how great tasting lechon comes out here in Cebu because um, you see lechons all the time. They yeah. just put like lemongrass, they put a little bit of garlic mm -hmm. and something else in and there. But there's no love, there's no ingredients. If you come here into Talisay, every time they chop open the lechon, you'll see a lot of ingredients yes. that you can't even count by your hands. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it taste so great. And by, by talking about this, it actually is making me hungry. So can we check out the restaurant now? Sure can. Thank you so much. All right, let's go. Right, so happy lunch right happy now. Lunch. I'm with Kay or Koma from another I, member of Paradise Kitchen. I'm with Yes. Karon, kaon na Lechon. Okay. Uh, Lechon, what's your Lechon? Gotom na ka? Ay, gotom ko, pero what's your Lechon ba? History ba? Ay, Lechon history. What about you? Ikaw, ikaw, ikaw. Akong nebongan ra is Bukaon. Ah, okay. Bukaon ta. Okay, so we have chicharon bulaklak. Bulaklak. Yes, we have big, really big puso and then lechon manok and kinila over here. So we're gonna start. Pero, Let's go. Ako ba? Ako favorite ali shai. Unsa shai. shai shai. Intestine? Oh. Ooh. Okay, tinai. Tinai, tinai. 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 Sa baboy. Okay, oh. perfect. Um, My, ako pa favorite. Naasa tay sa sabaw from the lechon. Oh, lechon. Yes. Okay, so start ta. Okay. Kilo to sabaw. Cheers. Sabaw. Cheers with the sabaw. Yep. So, parat, diba? Perfect. Here, you get this piece uh, of the lechon. Lechon belly. Nakal juicy ba? Pero lame man. Lame? Ayong. Lame kayo. Nata yung kinilaw? No. Kinilaw. Yeah, you try it out. Taste the kinilaw. Okay. There, perfect. Mm. Yummy. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. Okay. Kali very oiling pero ano kaon ba? The same yeah. kasi ba na? Ma balance. Ma balance oh. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Ma balance. How about the chicharong bulaklak? Mm. You get one. Okay. Taste it. Break it. Taste. Wala sauce? Oh, sauce ni mo. Mm, sauce. Okay. Okay, go. Okay. Mm. Unsay favorite ni mo from all atong naka-on? Very lame, pero mm -hmm. gusto ko kani. Kana jo si Charbulaklak. Perfect. Padayan ka on. Ah, okay. Lame kayo. Lame. <laughs> Very crispy go. More na mo ni pakaogan na kanin ko. The best. Very good. 
At the end of the food trip, the best thing to do for me is to end it with manggang hilaw. More saltiness is the best, that is what I say. So, we're gonna buy manggang hilaw right here. Pila ni, nani? Pila ni? Fifty. I'm just eating my manggang hilaw right now, of course, with um, sweet and spicy hipon. I'm just enjoying the view here in Liberation Park here in Poblacion Talisay. The experience is really great, uh, especially the food experience here. We got to taste um, different varieties of food, or vayan as we call it, um, from lechon to dinuguan to um, ginabot or chicharong bulaklak and um, other seafood stalls as well. It's um, right here at Poblacion Talisay here in Liberation Park and you can actually roam around the whole area and you get to experience what it's like here, especially on a weekend, there's a lot of people, it's jam-packed. So um, yeah, I suggest you come by if you're planning to go on a food trip right here. So until next time, see you.